Glad you're with us as we slide into the bottom of the fifth inning. St. Louis on top, two to one. Lincecum has retired seven straight. Cardinals don't have a hit since the first. Strike one. It'll be Jay, then Carpenter, Matt Carpenter, and then Matt Holliday. Ball and out. Here go. Ball and a strike. Cardinals, when they got by the Brewers last year in the NLCS, just pounded the ball. Jay takes high. In that series, they hit 310 against Milwaukee. Won the series in six games and scored seven plus runs per game this year. Feeney's crew, as opposed to LaRusse's crew, is doing it with their pitching. Shortstop Crawford on two hops. One out. That's an exceptional job by our crew to give you an idea of what throwing across your body means. Who do you want to credit for that? You want to credit Bill Webb or Bill Webb, Aaron Stoikoff, and Pete Macheska? All three. Great job. I bet there are more people down there responsible. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Yeah. Up and away. What? Of course. 2 0 the count. That's the important thing to remember about that though. The ball will go where the foot is pointing. Here's a fly ball into right center. Back is Pagan. This ball is off the wall. Carpenter who homered yesterday has got a one out double. And on base for the third time of the game. Here's Holiday. Ball one. Mark McGuire is the holdover hitting coach from Tony La Russa's staff and John Mabry a player with the Cardinals who was beloved by the fans here has joined that group that's Mike Alpretti the bench coach in last year's alternate hitting coach there's one into center that ball is a base hit Carpenter will come around they got a shot throw to the plate is dropped Carpenter safe. It's three to one. It's a three to one game in the bottom of the fifth. A double by Carpenter right in the middle of the action again. Holiday brings him home. It's an RBI base hit. But not given an error on that play. The ball trickled away, and George Contos, who worked last night, getting loose here in the fifth tonight. Sometimes when a catcher is trying to apply the tag, he closes the mitt too soon. And I think that's what happened to Sanchez on that attempted tag at home. Alan Craig with a runner at second. Holiday took second on the throw home. Craig takes inside. See, he's closing the mitt, and the ball actually hit the, the rim of the glove, and then the slide by Carpenter. He missed the plate initially and came back to tag it. Here's a 1 1. Strike two. That was an extraordinary play by. Pagan in center field to just give the Giants a chance to get the runner at home. Craig has a sack fly in this game over one. Sanchez wanted it up. He got it up. Here's the base hit into center. And that great play on a short hop by Pagan. A relay by Crawford. Sanchez couldn't handle it. Now the 2 2 to Craig is in the dirt. Full count. Look 
two out. Good pitch by Lincecum to get Alan Craig for his third strikeout of the night. That was a slider that was up but effective. To the wall his last time up and a leaping catch by Pagan who's played a great center field in this series. Late swing and a miss. With Holiday at second two out. Contos ready if needed. That's Mark Gardner, the bullpen coach. For Bruce Bochy and Molina is yelling at himself for not putting that last pitch in play. Yeah, the first one was not hittable. The last one was. So set up at 0 2. Lincecum trying to get through five. One ball, two strikes. The Giants in the sixth inning will have the pitcher spot. I'd love to get Lincecum through this inning and then lift him for the pinch hitter. Contos is ready if needed. Molina loves to go to right field with two strikes. That swing is directed that way and the count stays one and two. Career high 76 RBIs during the regular season. Only two this postseason. Time called by Sanchez the catcher. To right. The next pitch will be number 90 on the night from Lincecum. That's a way to negate that two strike hitter that goes the other way, is to pitch him inside. Don't let him get the barrel of the bat out. Good job by Lincecum. Two and two. RBI base hit in this fifth after a one out double by Matt Carpenter who has been on base three times and scored two runs. The 2 2 up the middle base hit holiday will score it's four to one. But I think you've already made that switch Joaquin Arias. Takes over at short. He'll bat in the number nine spot. Pitcher will bat eight. That's the double switch. So Arias will lead it off in the sixth inning. David Freeze at the plate. Lincecum ends up going four and two thirds. Tantos misses with ball one. We talked about the Cardinal bullpen earlier, but how about the Giants bullpen? Eight and two thirds innings and one hit, no runs here in the LCS. Contos a part of that. Deals with Freeze, who's one for two. That bounces in nicely played by Sanchez. George is probably thinking, George Contos is probably thinking, I could have been a part of that Yankee deal and I could be going home. He was traded from the Yankees to the Giants. One day after spring training, Chris Stewart, the catcher, went to the Yankees. And the Yankees being swept, of course, by Detroit. And the Giants still alive. Ground ball to second. Scudero down on a knee, gets the out. You saw the difference in the numbers. 
for Lincecum as a reliever. He got the start tonight. Pagan came so close. Sanchez couldn't hang on to the throw from Crawford. Two more runs for the Cardinals who lead by three after five.